Now, it was part of a coordinated nationwide takedown, and this is the sixth that the Medicare Fraud Strike Force and its partners have conducted. Uh, this afternoon, we announced charges against 89 defendants in eight different cities for their alleged participation in fraud schemes to submit more than $223 million in false billings to Medicare. These defendants are accused of a variety of crimes involving the fraudulent use of Medicare information obtained illegally from elderly or low-income individuals, the submission of false billings for treatments that were never performed or were performed by unlicensed individuals, and a range of other schemes that place the safety of innocent people at risk in order to achieve illicit financial gain. The Departments of Justice and Health and Human Services, working alongside federal, state, and local partners, will simply not tolerate such activities. We will use every appropriate tool and available resource to find, to stop, and to punish those who seek to take advantage of their fellow citizens. In our commitment to protecting the American people from all forms of health care fraud, safeguarding taxpayer resources, and ensuring the integrity of essential health care programs such as Medicare and Medicaid has never been stronger. Now, four years ago uh, this month, this commitment drove us to launch a new joint initiative that's known as the Health Care Fraud Prevention and Enforcement Action Team, also known as HEAT. As a result of this groundbreaking initiative, we have leveraged the strength of key federal, state, and local partnerships in order to take our comprehensive fight against health care fraud to a new level. Through the enhanced efforts of our criminal Medicare fraud strike force, we've bolstered our ability to identify and to shut down fraud schemes across the country. And this work has yielded really extraordinary results. As a result of strike force operations conducted since 2007, we filed charges against more than 1,500 individuals in connection with schemes involving over $5 billion in false billings. Over the last three fiscal years, for every dollar that we've spent fighting against health care fraud, we've returned on average $8 to the United States Treasury, the Medicare Trust Fund, and others. And our actions have helped to deter other would-be criminals from even <coughs> attempting to defraud Medicare. For example, after the strike force targeted group psychotherapy fraud in Detroit, we've seen amounts billed to Medicare for this type of treatment drop by more than 70 percent since January of 2011. Just two years after strike force operations in Miami identified and targeted widespread fraud in the home health industry, and launched an initiative that led to numerous arrests and lengthy prison sentences, Medicare, billi Medicare billings for home health services in the state of Florida dropped by more than $1 billion, and payments to providers fell by roughly $500 million. Now, we can all be proud of this uh, really remarkable progress. We should be encouraged by the significant actions that we are announcing today, but we cannot yet be satisfied. Unfortunately, our ability to keep building on this work, to backfill critical positions, and to strengthen strike force operations is being negatively uh, impacted by sequestration, which earlier this year cut over $1.6 billion from the Justice Department's budget for fiscal year 2013. Unless Congress adopts a balanced deficit reduction plan and stops the reductions currently slated for 2014, I fear that our capacity to protect the American people from health care fraud, to safeguard vital programs and precious resources, and to hold criminal, uh, criminals accountable will be further reduced. Now, allowing these cuts would be both unwise and unacceptable. Despite recent achievements, our work is really far from over. Significant challenges lie ahead. And that's why we must remain steadfast in our determination to strengthen current efforts and keep fighting to make the positive differences that our citizens need and that they deserve.